Hey, greetings, my YouTube and Facebook friends. I've proven without a doubt that Barack Hussein Obama is, in fact, future Antichrist. You can say what you want to say. I've got the proof. You don't have the proof. You haven't showed it to me. But I'm going to go over something new today, and I'm going to go over some old stuff as well, just, just to hammer this home to you. A man who's from Chicago, of course, the Antichrist stomping grounds, a big businessman, uh, gave the Antichrist a huge donation for his uh, presidential library. And guess how much that check was that he wrote for him? <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. $666,000. $666. Cents. You got that? Six, 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 six sixes was how much this donation was for. Let's go ahead and go to Revelation, shall we? 13 to 17, as always, all I use is, is, the, is the King James Version Bible. 13, 17 to 18, as you were. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the number, or the name of the beast or the number of, the, of his name. Here is wisdom, which few, this is my word here, which few of us have nowadays. Now back to scripture. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is three hundred, three score and six, or six, six, six. You got that? All right. So again, I told you about Michael J. Sachs, a Chicago businessman, gave the uh, Antichrist a check for $666,666. So let's go back to a little bit of other stuff that I've been sharing. I'm going to link a couple of these links up in the box below the video title, too, so you can go to them and just be marveled at, at how this number is always attached to this guy. And look at my thumbnail, one of my weather examples I told you about <laughs> with the temperature and the humidity. Okay. So, the Antichrist Barack Obama gave back a portion of his, of his salary. He, he claimed he was overpaid. How much do you ask? He gave back $6,666.66. Once again, three six sixes, just like above the donation he got. How in the world can someone write somebody a check for a donation for $666,000 and six 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 after that? And also, how can Obama write back a check for exactly six 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 six? That number is everywhere. It, it follows him like a, like a bad habit. Obama's depicted as Christ or God in numerous magazines, pictures, and paintings. His name has 18 letters, three names. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Three sixes. 666, six, six, the number of the beast, as we covered above. Put a link up, I want you to go to, with Brock and the 666 degrees of a circle. It'll blow your mind. Go to it. His zip code in Chicago, his stomping grounds were 60606, 666. Got a cool picture when he was running for president. It's a car sitting outside of a, uh, of a campaign stop in, in California. There's a sign that says Obama for president. And guess what the license plate the number on the front of that car is? 666. Each of the following, on the day it occurred, the Illinois lottery winning number was 666. Four different times in January, March, October, and November of 2008 when huge things were happening during his candidacy. When Obama announced he was running for president, when Bill Richardson, the governor of Mexico, endorsed Obama and Hillary's campaign withered, when the New York Times officially endorsed Obama, and when Obama won the general election defeating McCain for president, 666 was the winning number in his stomping grounds on the lottery. When Barack Hussein Obama leaves the White House, by January 20th of 2017, it will have been 666 months from the month he was born. 666. Now we've got the 216 connection. 216 equals 6 times 6 times 6 or 666. Number 216 has extensive links to occult phenomenon. This includes the fact that 216 is 6 times 6 times 6. This means that 216 is the luminous code for 666. Barack Hussein Obama was born on 4 August of 61, on the 216th day of the year, or 666. Barack Hussein Obama was born, uh, uh, supposedly, in Honolulu, Hawaii, at 21.6 latitude, or 666. He obtains passage of Obamacare legislation with an odd requirement of 216 votes, or 666. Every other vote that's ever been taken has 218, but for this... He puts for Obamacare, where the mark of the beast, I believe, is in the RFID chip. He makes it 666 to pass that law. On Twitter, he signed off with the number 666. I have shared on Facebook dozens of pictures where my videos, only the ones that I've done on Obama being the Antichrist, during random checks, have exactly 666 views. I've shared on Facebook several random weather checks, which you'll see one of the thumbnails for this video itself. Since Obama was president, again, 
on back-to-back -back days where the temperature outside was 66.6 degrees or 666, and the wind chill was 66. I've shared on Facebook many random stock market updates since Obama was president where the market was at that time of the day at 666. So again, you keep believing whatever you want to believe, my friends. I'm giving you the lowdown. I'm giving you the 411, the scoop. Rapture's going to happen any second of any day, and when you're left behind, you'll be here to deal with this guy when he does become Satan incarnate, and the Pope becomes Satan incarnate, and Satan's here, roaming the earth like crazy, the unholy trinity. If God didn't intervene, no flesh would remain alive as it is. About two-thirds of all humans will die the most awful, terrible, horrific, grotesque deaths possible. And sadly, most Christians will be right here with the unsaved. You know why? They won't repent of their sins after they're saved the way the Bible says at least 250 times you have to. Let's rewind that one time. Sadly, most Christians will be left behind right here with the unsaved because they won't repent. When the Bible tells you over and over again you have to. If you want that scripture, message me. If you want scripture, 150 of them that proves the rapture is a preacher, message me. If you like, you've never been saved, you're a backslider. Pray that prayer and do the six final next steps in the box with my video title. And if you make sure you do it as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time of life. Also, in that same box is my trip survival guide video. Tell you to get saved during the trip and what to expect A to Z. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, my friends, contact me. And I'll pray for you every day. This is no joke, my friends. We are getting so close to getting out of here. Time is so short. Stop playing games and let's get ready. Stop listening to people out there that lie to you and listen to God's word the way it's written. Keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen, it's between them and God, my friends. But just look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. And again, the rapture is going to happen any second of any day, my friends. You need to make sure that you are always, always, always ready. You guys take care of yourselves. And may God bless you. Bye.